At long last, the Blue Jays have a home ballpark for the 2020 season. It is the ballpark of their AAA affiliate, the Buffalo Bisons. It is Salem Field. Blue Jays will send their ace to the mound. Jin Ryu coming off a terrific outing last time out. And we're underway at Salem Field. Jonathan VR leading it off for the Marlins. He is their shortstop, hitting 195 on the season. Curveball, and he got him. VR strikes out on a breaking ball up above the belt. For the first out at Salem Field. Ryu deals. Here's a hot shot out to second base. Gloved by Kevin Biggio. Sidearm sling over to first. Dickerson's retired, and so are the Miami Marlins. The Blue Jays will take their hacks as the home team in Buffalo. For Eliezer Hernandez, making his second start of the year, just the second Marlins starter that would be able to say that. Unbelievably disciplined at the plate. But he goes down looking. A strikeout for Hernandez, his first. Ryan batting 303, 10 for 33. Here's a swing and a fly ball out to deep left field, turning around Guriel, and he will watch it go into the screen. Brian Anderson sends one to the jet stream, his third home run of the season, is a leadoff shot in the second inning, and Miami has a 1 0 lead. Cervelli, who's hitting 192, 5 for 26. Guerrero going down the line, makes the catch. Vladdy with an over-the-shoulder catch with his back to the infield. And a runner in scoring position for the Blue Jays. And a ground ball. What a play at short. VR up with it, throws to first, and dug out by Forsythe. Terrific play by Jonathan VR to take a hit away from Vlad and make the play at first base. VR fully extended. Two down here is Joe Panic. Yeah, the umpire called obstruction right there as Guerrero was on top, and now Rivera's going to go there. The umpire pointed as if he said, yeah, there's contact by the defensive yeah, player. Absolutely. He Watch did. this. Watch the umpire here. And he says, hey, you're holding him down. You're yep. holding him down. Now he's going to say that. Yep, obstruction. And I'm surprised that they haven't made this call earlier now, like, could it be a situation JP where maybe the play was he was out by enough that it wouldn't have made that big of a difference I think that because of that he's going to be out engine Ryu goes back to work runner not going and it's strike three call fifth strikeout for Ryu here's Monte Harrison who struck out leading off the third Got him right at the knees, and you can see how Harrison felt about that call. Two down. Yeah, he thought it was low, but the umpire rings him up, so he strikes out for a second time. Number six on the night for Hunjin Ryu. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the fifth. Randall Grichik grounded out to third base his first time up. Here's the pitch, and it's Chase. Swung on and missed. Grichik goes down on strikes. Five strikeouts now for Eliezer. He's working here in the fifth. Birdie waiting, and the one-two pitch. High strike is called on Birdie, and he can't believe it. Well, maybe it's the Western New York weather, but the strike zone is expanding and contracting tonight. Curveball sounded like maybe a broken bat. Shaw up with it in third, and the Marlins go in order. A very nice job by Hunjin Ryu. Can the bats get going? Now, Kevin Biggio, 0 for 2, a strikeout and a fly ball. Third time through the order, beginning right now for the Blue Jays. First pitch swinging, Biggio with a fly ball down the left field line. This is pretty well hit, and it's going to be off the top of the wall. Jansen will be at third on the play. Must not have been comfortable or sure that it was going to get over the head of Dickerson, so he was taking no chances. So a real opportunity for the Blue Jays, second and third with nobody out. And here's Bo Bichette. One two is hit high in the air to left field Dickerson back gone three run homer for Bo Bichette and the Blue Jays take the lead got the Marlins for two then got the Rays in over the weekend long throw Bichette and scoop nicely by Vladdy at the other end. Good play on both ends there. Bichette acknowledging the good play by Vladdy over at first. He scooped that low throw. A second walk in the inning will push Grichik down to second base. Ball's well struck into right center and down for a base hit. Grichik will round third and race home. Jansen into third on an RBI single by Biggio. And it's 4-1. to one. 
Hey, Oscar Hernandez out to center and John Birdie makes the play first defensive inning out there in center field and John Birdie tracks one down. The Marlins work the walk with Brian Anderson up there first and third and here is Francisco Cervelli. 3-0 oh. Cervelli with a drive out to left and gone a home run to tie it two outs in the ninth. Cervelli evens things up. No way, Paul. I said 3 2 count. You walk a hitter on a slider to get to the tying run, and Cervelli swings at a 3 0 pitch and goes yard. Green light. And we will see Logan Forsythe. Now, Forsythe hits one a ton down the left field line but it is foul or is it it is a home run and that ball boy that looked like that a ball foul. foul yeah foul ball foul ball of course a run wins it right here Alfred at third Biggio at second to Bichette at first one down two two on the way and a swing and a base hit into right field and they will win it Travis Shaw drives in Anthony Alford with a winning run and the Blue Jays are victorious in their first game in Buffalo.